We're in the bowels of Facebook's campus at their hardware labs. It's a pretty unusual setup for a software company. Facebook actually builds and designs its own servers and storage systems and networking equipment. And the big goal is to save money for Facebook by making much more efficient data centers and by making more efficient equipment than they could buy from a Hewlett Packard or a Dell. The lab we're in right now is the electrical lab, and this is really where we're doing the sort of circuit board level, very detailed work. We're running more than 20,000 servers per technician. So looking at what are the common replacement items, and then how do you get to a point where I can do common service on a box with, with basically my 10 fingers. An easy example is getting rid of screws where it counts. A normal server, a guy's down there with a screwdriver, Exactly. Checking out a number of screws, and you guys use more of like just like a pop-off sort of yeah, system. Yeah, you got and it. Yeah, thumb screw and lift. Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, you guys did things at such a high level, mm -hmm. nobody had ever faced sort of the problems you guys had faced before, so you had to build stuff that exactly. worked for you and suited your needs, and now, I mean, it turns out that you've basically made kind of these standards that other companies now are building on. What might seem trivial, you know, designing out 50 cents or a dollar fifty out of the server, at scale really does start to have an impact. Can we take a peek at some of the other labs? Yeah, let's do it. This is a server sitting in a vat of oil. That's Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is really how like the Facebook hacker culture applies to hardware. So you guys yeah. will have hardware hackathons just like you have software hackathons. Absolutely. The team got together and said, we've been hearing about oil immersion. It's super interesting. Let's go see if we can make it work with an open compute uh, server design. Went and bought uh, some mineral oil, actually from a veterinary supply store because it's a horse laxative. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's also nice for cooling servers. So this is definitely the noisiest room. What's going on in this one? So this is our uh, what we call our oven room. Yeah. We have to be able to simulate every everywhere our servers might go. And so the ovens we have here basically allow us to create a very wide range of environmental conditions, including what we call uh, thermal events. So you take like an actual server and put it inside these massive ovens? We do. We need to have our own test abilities in addition to our suppliers. Not because we're any better or worse at testing than they are, but because we understand our operating environment much better than our suppliers do. Everybody has ovens. Most people don't test a thunderstorm in the desert. Yeah, between this lab and the other ones, you guys must have the noisiest workspaces in, in Facebook. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a little yeah. noisier than the software developing uh, floor. Yeah. yeah.